students welcome back to the next session of uh, you know the classes uh, which we are going to handle so today i am going to discuss about the important chapter that is structural organization in animals so this chapter is very important in terms of understanding the different types of tissues in our body so we are going to discuss about the epithelial tissue connective tissue the muscular as well as the neural tissue to move ahead further we are also going to discuss few important aspects pertaining to the morphology anatomy and the digestive respiratory excretory reproductive and many other physiological functions of uh, different organisms so on this note let me start with the introduction of this chapter so dear students first of all let us understand that you know in the case of unicellular organisms when we consider we know that here a single cell performs the role of digestion it also undergoes you know the respiration reproduction you know all this even all the other metabolic activities that means all the chemical reactions which are occurring in a cell all right is what we can say very simple because it is you know whatever i said now it is all occurring in a single cell say for example let us consider we have a single cell here all right so under this single cell all the other functions are performed all right the single cell now this is just rough a uh, representation of bacterial cell okay so see the single cell performs all the functions the similar manner if we consider you know multicellular organisms it is a very complex body rather let me tell you the same basic functions which are performed here by a single cell are divided there there is division of labor that means to say that a group of different cells you know perform you know in a well organized manner different functions furthermore dear students let me tell you say for example let us consider okay hydra here when you consider the cilium trait that is hydra you know here different types of cells you know we can find and it can be in thousands so that's what that's what so these for example we have in a particular organism five different types of cells these five different types of cells will be in thousands or lakhs and they perform as similar cells performing a particular function all right so that becomes a what we can say tissue fine we will discuss about that anyway so like that when you consider hydra different types of cells can be seen and each type can have thousands of cells in the similar manner when you consider the human body as we know that billions of cells it is composed of adult human body the fully developed human body when you consider dear students it is made up of billions of cells and these cells does not function as single entity 
these cells perform their functions by forming tissues tissues organized to form the organs organs organized to form the organ systems so all these that means to say the cells tissues the organ and the organ systems of our body they have or they exhibit a well defined division of labor this division of labor is very important in performing various functions of our body dear students further in this introduction let me tell you what do we mean by actually a tissue see a tissue is a group of cells all right which are similar and they perform specific functions okay this is the most simplest of definition which i can give you for a tissue a tissue is a group of cells that means it can be thousands it can be lakhs it can differ from organism to organism all right so these group of cells are similar all right and they perform specific functions all overall together they function as a unit and they perform the specific functions that is what we call it to as a tissue dear students now as i said you tissues organized to form the organs let us say for example they may organized to form what you say for example we have okay the heart in our body they may form the heart all right or they may organized uh, to form for example the lungs all right so this is you know they may organize to form different organ tissues organize to form in humans for example heart all right then they organize to form you know what you call the lungs all right then in a similar manner they can form brain they can form the uh, you know furthermore we we have so many different organs kidneys they can form all right brain they can form like that you know each organ now has a specific function in our body you know again let me tell you we have organ system dear uh, students see these organs you know organize in a well defined manner forming organ systems say for example we have circulatory system respiratory system excretory system reproductive system skeletal system like this you know different organs come together to form the organ system so and help in proper division of labor so these are few introductory aspects with respect to the chapter structural organization in animals you need to remember dear students